Welcome back to Los Angeles. I'm Adam Housley. You're watching Tech Take. You know, Valentine's Day is tomorrow. If you haven't got your loved one a gift yet, you still do have some time. Now, if you don't want to get flowers or candy and stuff that goes away basically in a few days, there are some other options out there. And we have Eric Bone here from Logitech to show you some of the things that they have, some of the gadgets that might be something that your loved one could use, whether it be boy or a girl, a man or woman. Uh, he joins us from San Francisco right now to show us off some of the latest stuff. Eric, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Adam. You know, I... One of the things, actually, it's funny, even here at the office, uh, people that we work with, the, probably the number one gadget next to an extra battery that people ask about is something for your iPad, a tablet or a cover. I know you guys have a PowerShell shell controller and battery. Um, tell us about that. What does it do? Um, what are some of the things, some of the ways people can use it? Is, it? is it for an iPad? Is it for other options? Give us some of the options about that. Yeah, Adam, so uh, the PowerShell controller plus battery is actually a product for your iPhone 5 or 5S. And it also works with, if you have uh, not the phone version, but the iPod Touch, the fifth generation, anything with that lightning connector. What it is, it, it really helps the gamer, or the casual gamer who's used to playing with their thumbs on the actual screen, kind of up their game to more of a controller-like, uh, console-like um, experience. So really, right. you know, even though the games are casual on, on iPhones and iPod Touches, those little bit more complicated games like, say, Tomb Raider or uh, Grand Theft Auto or some of these more complicated games out there, they really kind of need something more with buttons and, uh, and D-pads, things you're used to with uh, console controllers. Yeah, you know, I'm glad you mentioned it very clearly that it's for iPod or for iPhone. I know that was one of the other areas we were going to touch on. I thought we were going to start off with the iPad, right. and we'll get to that case in a moment. So we'll go back to this one okay. first uh, that's been in front of us, the, the PowerShell controller. What does it provide? I mean, obviously it provides the ability to, for more of the gamer on the go type thing, but how much extra battery power does it provide? And do you, can you use it just for that or can it be used for other things as well? Yeah, you know, I mean, there are solutions that, that just have batteries, but what's great about this controller is it's, it's not only, you know, gives you the buttons to actually play games a little bit better than you would just kind of your thumb positions, but you're right, it, it does include a 1500 milliamp battery. And what that does, it, it almost gives you twice the playing time that you would on just your iPhone or your iPod Touch. All right, so obviously that's something I'm sure you guys have, have done well with in the marketplace, especially as mobile gaming has gotten better and better. Um, along with this, it potentially could be used with it, I assume, is the UE Boom, which is, as you know, there are a lot of portable speakers out there. We've shown a lot of them here on this show over the last couple of years. Uh, many of them are very good, but the UE Boom does bring some unique ability to it, the fact that it's waterproof, stain-proof. Um, tell us about that product. Yeah, there are a lot of Bluetooth speakers on the market right now, but we have some exciting things on the UE Boom that, uh, that really separates it from the crowd. And one of them is, uh, is what you mentioned, this, uh, this acoustic skin. And uh, this acoustic skin is covered by like a plasma coating. It's done in a manufacturing process. And, and what that allows it to do is when water or jelly or honey or anything that uh, is part of your life that you're playing music around gets on it, you can just easily rub it off and, uh, and kind of you're back and, and good to go. So this is one of the great features so it's uh, great of the UE Boom. With jelly or honey, it's great for the breakfast table, it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, it's, uh, it's something that, that we, uh, we like to call life-resistant. It's something for you to, to take on the go, and, uh, you know, it's really a, a great product out there for you. Before we go on to the next product, the one thing I think is kind of cool about it as well is the customizable greeting. Yeah. Yeah, so the greeting is something that, that's brand new for us at, uh, at Ultimate Ears. And up on uh, ultimateears.com, what you can do is, is you're buying this gift for your, for your loved one, boy, girl, man, wife, husband, uh, etc. Through the checkout process, you can actually upload a 10-second uh, message that will be played every time you turn the, the product on. Uh, it's everything from... Hi, honey, I love you. Have a great day to, uh, you know, some other funny types of anecdotes. Now, if you get a little sick of that, of course, that's, uh, there are some applications on your phone that you can turn that off eventually, but it's a great gifting item and some great customization on, on one of the six colors that this product has. All right, so there's two more products we want to talk about. Harmony Unite is one of them. I know uh, about oh, six months ago, five months ago, we had a... Sorry, Har Harmony Ultimate, pardon me, I'll get that right. Um, about five or six months ago, we had a, uh, a segment where we showed all the different controllers out there, there or at least a number of them that uh, can be used uh, over a variety of ways to control your home theater experience. And, and this is something you guys have brought into the game. You can use your smartphone as well, correct? Yeah, that's right. Uh, the Harmony Ultimate is actually a, a great product, and, and you can use it 
in, in, in kind of two different ways. One, I have the controller in my hands here, and, and this is really the, uh, no pun intended, the ultimate of, uh, of remote controls out there. But, you know, what's great about it is the, the screen itself is swipeable, and, and actually you can add your favorites on there like, like Fox News and, uh, and things of like course, that. Of course, that would so be your number one, can, I assume. Uh, of course, the number one. Um, <laughs> then there's a, a second part to this product <laughs> that allows you to interface actually with your smartphone, and, and this is the hub that I have here in my hands. This hub actually interfaces with both the remote control as well as applications on either your tablet, your Android phones, your, uh, your iOS okay. phones as well. So very, very useful for lots of different uses. Two quick questions for you. Uh, one is, how easy is it to set up? Because that's, as you know, a lot of those, those universal controls can be uh, daunting. And secondly, does it play well with Mac? Yeah, so, uh, so yes on, on both answers. The, the setup feature is something that is really meant to be, um, we've thought through this for a really long time. Harmony's been doing this, and it really separates us from the crowd. It's a, it's a really easy setup um, on, the, uh, on the smart control, it, uh, or on the, uh, the, what we call the puck. Um, you can, can set that up straight from your phone, or, uh, and then you can interface with the uh, remote control. And then there's also a, an easy computer setup as well that allows you to pick all of your devices that you have um, and uh, quickly type it in, and, and then it all just gets downloaded to these devices, and it's one of the easier setups uh, of, of something that could be very complicated. Cool. And, and the final one is the one we started off with, but we kind of jumped the gun on it a little bit, and that's the Logitech Universal Keyboard for iPad Air. I know that just keyboards in general, again, whether it's for the iPhone or the iPad, uh, are a very popular item. You can find a number of them on the market right now. Um, I actually, coincidentally, now that you're showing it, I actually own this one for the previous iPod, or I, sorry, iPad, mm -hmm. um, and I use it um, like the product. What Obviously, it's, it's thin, which is important. People that buy the iPad Air are going to want something that's thin. Um, what, what separates this one from some of the other products on the marketplace? Yeah, good question, Adam. This was really the, the product that, that kicked it all off for, for Logitech. This, this ultra-thin keyboard, um, what, what separates us from the rest is really uh, some of the background from Logitech starting and, and being one of the world-leading providers of desktop keyboards. We took a lot of that learning, and we, uh, we transferred it into a, a device that's, that's not only super thin, but, but gives you the key presses and, and the, the touch typing that you're used to in today's chiclet keyboards. So there's a, a lot of key travel, um, and uh, and really is an, is a is a great size keyboard. Um, plus some of the other great features that uh, going from the first version that, that you have on, on one of the earlier iPads to the new one with the iPad Air is is that there's a, a great kind of channel here that allows for the angle for the iPad to to fit at an optimal angle for you to be able to type these these longer potentially longer love no, uh, notes that you're going to write uh, during the Valentine's time frame. <laughs> All right, Eric, there are a lot of companies on the market that have the keyboards, that have the Bluetooth speakers. Obviously, Logitech, one of the larger companies out there. What separates you guys in this marketplace to where a consumer will, will choose Logitech, for example, over another company that might make the same product? Yeah, great question, Adam. I mean, I think that there's kind of two things that, uh, that separate Logitech from the competition. First, we've talked a little bit about customization, and, and there's customization on, on things like this, uh, the ultra-thin keyboard where you can uh, write a short message four lines long at our checkout process, and then there's other things like personalization, and we talked about it with the UE Boom where there's different material treatments and uh, the fact that you know, some of the skins that we have are, are water resistant and stain resistant. We spend a lot of time in, uh, in those types of areas that really help us separate us from the rest of the comp competition out there. All right, Eric Bowen, Product Marketing Manager, uh, Director at Logitech. We appreciate you uh, joining us from San Francisco to talk about some of the products out there that people might want to buy for uh, Valentine's Day for their loved one or for that example, maybe even down the road on a week or two later for something uh, other special occasion. Uh, you can find out more, of course, on Logitech's website. You also can find out more about news and technology right here on foxnews.com. We have a number of different locations. You can find everything out about uh, technology. And if you have any questions for us, you can find us, of course, at foxnewslive.com. You can let us know, and we'll be able to uh, check out some of the things you want us to see. Uh, in the meantime, I'm Adam Housley in Los Angeles, and you're watching Tech Take.